Right now we're in the heart of the Tahoe National Forest where we're seeing some of the damage done from the bear fire. I want to go ahead and turn your attention over into the distance. Take a look at that. That's some of the retardant that's been used to try and battle this fire. And then right now we're able to look at some of the damage done. You can see some of the trees that have been burned here and some of that charred land. And not only that, as we walk you on over, we can also see some of the smoldering that's been done over here in this area. Taking a look over there, you might be able to catch just a glimpse of it. It's something that we're seeing play out all throughout the area. And we're also learning about power. We're learning that individuals, at least right now, aren't in the dark. The bear fire continues to grip Tahoe National Forest as crews continue to fight the fire. They're relying on aerial resources, turning to water drops and retardant to try and put out the flames. Power has proven to also be a problem. NV Energy tells us no residents impacted by the fire are in the dark, relying on other utility companies to backfeed power to Sierra Brooks while they continue to assess damage to infrastructure. They tell us 14 power lines were damaged in the fire, with 10 needing to get replaced. We spoke with Forest Service who told us they still have more battles ahead. In fighting this fire, access has been difficult for firefighters along with wind. Um, so with the additional resources, we're continuing to gain access to some areas of the fire. So hopefully we'll be seeing additional containment li lines being laid and um, improvement being made. And I want to go ahead and turn our camera up. You can then see some of the air aerial resources yet again that are being used to try and get this fire under control. Now, coming up in the next hour, we're going to be talking about smoke and how it's impacting air quality in the area. Reporting from Tahoe National Forest, covering local news that matters. Claudette Stefanian, Fox 40 News.